What is up, team? Today we're talking about equations of circles. Uh, let me preface this by saying this is this topic is better understood practicing with it. So you should have already done a Dismus activity, um, or you should be doing one immediately after this. I'm going to do a little Dismus in this video, but it's just it's just better understood if you play around with it yourself. So equations of circles are in this form: x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Where h and k these are the coordinates of the center of your circle. So if, you're, uh, if your circle is centered at 1, 2, then h is 1 and k is 2. Um, pretty straightforward. We'll practice that here shortly. r is the radius. We're used to that. Um, notice that it's being squared, so sometimes we have to play around with square roots and whatnot to figure out what the radius is. Let's do an example. Uh, so it says, create the equation of a circle centered at 11, negative 30 with a radius of 8. So let's define the pieces that we have. Uh, this thing is centered, h, k. Um, these are just the common, it's just consensus. We just decided that we use H and K for the center of a circle. Why? I don't know, but it's, it's the expectation, so, so plan on that. Um, this is just the center, so it's 11, negative 30. So when we plug things into the general form, the H is going to be 11 and the K is going to be negative 30. So notice that'll turn into a plus sign here shortly. Uh, and the R, the radius, is 8. Nice and easy. Okay, we're going to take this form, we're going to replace the H with RH, the K with RK, and the R with our R. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be X minus H, which is 11, plus Y minus RK, which is 30. We'll clean this up in a second. That's the 2. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. And then R squared, so it's going to be 8 squared. Okay, we have one more piece to this puzzle to clean it up. So we're going to do X minus 11 squared, leave it as is, plus y, well, minus a negative is the same thing as adding, so y plus 30 squared, and then 8 squared is 64. What I want to do now is confirm that this makes sense, so I'm going to throw it in these moves, and what we should see is that this thing is centered at 11, negative 30, with a radius of 8 units. So I'm going to, I'm going to flip this over, flip this around real quick, and here we go, hi, I'm down here now. And we are going to replace this business with our equation that we just created. So I already had something in there. Got to undo it. So x minus, well, our um, equation said x minus 11 quantity squared plus y plus, what's our number? 30 quantity squared plus over equals and then we had 64. Okay, well, I'm noticing nothing popped up. So let's zoom out. Let's go find our circle. Let's see how we did. Okay, so we, ours is supposed to be centered at 1130. So you can kind of see the coordinates up here. This is 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, no, that's not true. These are broken down even more than that. Let's change this. I don't want those minor grid lines. They get in the way. All right, now we're counting by twos. 6, 8, 10. So 11 is right between 10 and 12. If we go straight down to uh, 1130, our claim is that the center of our circle is right there. Let's, uh, let's for funsies, let's type in um, uh, 11, negative 30 as a point, and that indeed looks like the center of our circle. Cool. That's good news. Uh, now what we want to check is to see what the radius is. So we're going to count the distance. I'm just going to count it on the horizontal axis here, nice and easy. So the distance from there from the center to one of the lines um, to make it a little bit easier on ourselves let's let's add let's add some boxes so now we can just count each box so from the center to the side of the circle we'll just count one two three four five six seven eight cool so now we have a circle centered at 11 negative 30 and it has a radius of eight just like we had hoped cool so we did it. This equation works. It describes the situation that we're seeking. All right, let's take it the other direction. What if we're given the equation and we need to find the center, we need to find the radius? So uh, we're going to focus in on these two numbers that are kind of attached to the h and to the k. Right here it says x plus 5. Um, and if it's in this form, x minus h, well, the h is not 5. h is going to be negative 5 in this case. Because this is x minus negative 5 is what this would turn into. So the center is at negative 5 comma positive 2. So it's kind of tricky dealing with the negative. So if it looks like it's going to be positive, it's not. If it looks like it's going to be negative, it's not. Reason being is because we're looking at this form here. 
uh, the, the general form is that you're subtracting the H and subtracting the K. So be extra careful with that. Um, and of course, always check on these and just to make sure things worked out for you. Okay, the radius. Well, that's this business on the far right. Uh, that's in the form of R squared right here. But we have a, a number. We don't get to just take the base and say, boom, that's our radius. Well, uh, we'll find the square root of 144. Well, we know 12 times 12 is 144, so our radius is 12. If we were to throw this equation into Dismiss, we'd see that it was centered at negative 5, comma 2, and it has a radius of exactly 12 units. Okay, this is quick and dirty uh, equations of circles. Please play around with the stuff on Dismiss. It's an activity attached to this lesson or the previous lesson. Uh, that, that's where you're actually going to learn this stuff. Okay, dive in. Let me know if you have questions. You got this.